it's Mandy and I'm back with another one of these wedding engagement Jessica's calling me better answer it hello Mandy are you home yeah what do you like, mean are you like messing with okay something scary just happened I'm gonna cry can you come down here then I'm don't so you need to come here I was walking down the hallway upstairs right and I always look at the ceiling because I'm OCD and I want to check for like water damage and stuff. I look up at the ceiling on the hall. There is a child-sized black handprint on the ceiling. It's not mine. I can't reach it. It's too small for Ty's hand. Please tell me you did this. Do you think I have child-sized hands? Well, I mean, you have small hands. I have small hands. But I can't reach that. Do you realize I'm literally filming right now? You want to come see it? Yeah, okay. Okay, come upstairs. All right. Sorry about that, guys. It's just another day at this uh, haunted house. Nothing uh, nothing to be too concerned about. <clears throat> um, what was I saying? So I just wanted to let you guys know how I went about uh, the engagement ring shopping and how I was able to incorporate Luca into it and still have it be a surprise and that feeling that you get when you pick out your engagement ring is very very important and I'm going to tell you my whole experience and what I think from my point of view you should do. So as soon as Luca expressed to me that he was ready and told me that you know anytime after Jess's wedding whenever I'm ready to go look at rings uh, to go look at rings and he wanted me to go with my mom so that my mom could take in all the ones that I liked and write them down and she could go with him another time without me so he knew what he was doing and some guys don't get me wrong some guys know exactly what to do and exactly what they want and some and not just guys and girls, just this is any situation, just for me specifically, it's a guy and a girl, but it could be anybody, any relationship, any person. In my case, I relate most to men and women, so I'm gonna use those terms, but it goes for anybody, any relationship, any person, anything. Uh, some people are fine with their significant other picking out whatever ring they like and want nothing to do with it and don't really have a preference or um, something that they like and want specifically. But for the most part, I know a lot of girls do know what they want and do know what they like and we have Pinterest to blame for that. <laughs> anyway, so Luca did not have the slightest idea of what I like and what I wanted. Um, so he does need a little bit of help and a little bit of guidance. So my mom was the perfect person to help him with that. So I went ring shopping with my mom beginning of January-ish and I saw this one ring that I really loved but I wasn't feeling that spark of emotion inside of like this is the one, this is my ring forever, like I'm emotional, I just want to get it now, that kind of thing which you see in movies, you see in TV shows, all of that stuff. And you know, my mom wrote it down and everything and we were walking to the next shop and I was kind of bummed out and I asked my mom, I'm like, when Jess saw the ring that she loved, did she get that feeling? That emotional, raw, ecstatic, excited feeling of this is the one. And my mom said no because Ty ended up customizing her ring. So she never saw the end result until he proposed. So that left me feeling really discouraged and really kind of disappointed because I felt like maybe everything that I believed to be the case from movies and television shows and stuff like that, that the big moment and that feeling inside of knowing that this is the one was just all bogus and unrealistic and wasn't the case until I went into another store and I found this ring. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, this is the one. I started tearing up. I got emotional, I got excited, I got nervous, I got like 
like any other ring after that didn't compare didn't even come close I was just so in love with it and that was the exact feeling that I had been wanting, searching for, waiting for and I just have to tell you guys, if you don't get that feeling of this is the one and I love it and it's this is for me, no other ring compares, if you don't get that feeling then keep searching because you deserve that feeling. And as soon as I felt it, I immediately felt so uplifted and so much better because, you know, I had been just so lost and confused because I did find a ring that I loved, but it wasn't the one and I didn't get that feeling, as they say. So if that's the case, don't be discouraged. You just haven't found the one yet. And that's with everything else, like a wedding dress, a future husband, everything. Um, you should have that feeling of knowing that this is the forever, this is the one. Um, so keep looking. And then the thing is, is I wanted a second ring so that he could choose himself which one that he wanted for me. I didn't want to just pick out one ring and have him be forced to get it and not have any decision making in the process because it meant a lot to me that he got to choose which one he liked best. Um, so I'm looking, no other ring compares, I'm looking, some are okay, some are nice and the lady that was there helping me was like, you, if you find another ring, make sure you love it just as much as this because you don't want a second option or a plan B or anything like that and have him choose the one that you love less. So if you're gonna find a second option, make sure that you love it just as much. And I ended up finding one that I love just as much and I'll put a video in here of the two rings for you. And I ended up loving it just as much and we wrote it down and my mom ended up calling him that day and they actually went that night, didn't tell me, I had no idea about it at all. They ended up going that night and uh, he got the ring, he sized it and everything. And yeah, make sure you get your ring finger sized, otherwise that's a whole other thing. Just make sure they size it, make sure you get all the information written down so that when he goes, uh, it's all ready for him. So anyways, that is my ring shopping story. And I honestly can't wait for like the wedding dress shopping and everything like that, because that's gonna make me so excited, but anyways, he ended up picking out the ring that I fell in love with first, which I knew that he would. I don't know why, I just knew that he would. If you guys enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button, and if you um, haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because I do make videos every single week. And I love you guys so, 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 so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.